in this video we are going to learn about the safe state so first we have to we have defined what is safe state so safe state is a state in which there is at least one sequence of resource allocation to processes that does not result in a deadlock so from this statement we are going to solve one problem to understand what is safe state and what is unsafe state so here is the problem suppose there are four processes in uh, execution with 12 instances of resource r in a system the maximum need of each process and current allocations are given below so process p1 p2 p3 p4 and their maximum need is 8 9 5 and 3 respectively and the current allocation is 3 4 2 and 1 now we have to find out uh, the current system current allocation is, uh, of the system is in safe state and if so what is the safe sequence so here total number of resource instance equals 12 now we have to find out how many resource are allo currently allocated to process different processes so these are allocated to different processes so total used resource instance equals to so how many resources 3 plus 4 7 8 9 10 10 resources are currently allocated to different processes so how many resources are left how many so 12 minus 10 so 2 unit of resources are left so now what is the maximum need of process p1 8 and it is currently allocated three resources so if we give if two unit is given to p1 it will be three plus two five but see five is less than eight what is the maximum need of process p1 is eight but we have only five resource left five uh, resource so we go to the next process p2 now p2 is currently allocated to four resources if we give two unit if two unit is given to p2 so it is 4 plus 2 6 so 6 is less than the maximum need of process p2 so it is also incomplete now if 2 unit is given to p3 now currently p3 is has allocated resource two units so two plus two so four also four is less than the maximum need of p3 so it is also incomplete now next if two unit is 
given to P4. Now P4 has currently one unit. So 1 plus 2. So this is 3. And 3 is equal to the maximum need of process P4. So it is complete. Now P4 is complete. So mark it with circle. Now again P4 is completed with 3 units. So it releases 3 units. So now again we give 3 unit to P1. So now 3 plus 3 that is 6. Again 6 is less than maximum need of process P1. So it is incomplete again. Now Again, we give we give three units to P two, so it is four plus three. Now again, seven is less than nine, so it is also an incomplete. Next, we have to give we give three unit to P3. So it is currently it has two units. So we give three unit. So it is five. So five is equal to the maximum need of P4 process P3. So it is complete now and it releases five unit of resources. Now circle it. Now we have two units left P1 and two process left P1 and P2. So again we now we have five units released. So again we give five unit to P1. So, so now it has three units and we give 5 units so 8 unit total of 8 unit so 8 is equal to the maximum need of process p1 so it is also complete now it releases 8 unit now p1 is complete so circle it now we can give now we have 8 units so 8 unit to P2. So it has already 4 unit and we give it to 8 unit. So it is total in 12. So 12 is greater than the maximum need of process P2. So it is also complete. So no more process is left. So we stop here. So all process are completed so it is a safe state so all process are completed so it is a safe state safe state and what is the safe sequence and save sequence is first P4 is completed first P4 is completed so write down P4 here next P3 is completed so P3 Next, P1 is completed. So, write P1 and then P2. So, this is the safe sequence. 
so that's it for uh, this video we'll upload next video uh, and uh, we discuss about another uh, algorithms thank you